So for question two of the 2019 Sir Isaac Newton physics contest, we have a humorous take on the kinematics problem. We have moose droppings uh, thrown at an angle of 60 degrees at a speed of 100 meters per second. And we want to find out how many seconds we need to wait before shooting a water balloon at an angle of 30 degrees at a muzzle speed of 80 meters per second such that the two objects will collide in mid-air. Now, first thing we need to remember is to never trust the diagram. Just don't even look at the diagram because a lot of the times it's there to mislead you. Let's try to come up with our own diagram, but before we do so, we need to figure out the equations of motion. Now, this should be already trivial for many of you. And if it's not, you should probably watch another video before coming back here. But we know the displacement equation is delta d equals vt plus 1 over 2a delta t squared. And we can break this up into components. We can figure out the y component of its position and the x component of the position. The initial velocity is just 100 sine of 60 degrees delta t minus, uh, we have minus 4.9 because acceleration due to gravity is negative, uh, negative 9.8 and half of that is negative 4.9. And since there's no acceleration in the x direction, the x component of its position will just always be its original velocity, which is 100 cosine 60 delta t. But that doesn't really tell us anything. That's our review. We want to figure out what the actual path of the projectile is. And we can do this by doing a very clever substitution to find out what y of x is. We want to know what path it will take and what path it will trace out as if we were actually there ourselves looking at its physical path across the sky. So we have delta t, we can rearrange this so that delta t equals x over 100 cosine of 60 degrees. So we can actually make this substitution. We have 100 sine 60 as before, but instead of writing t, we can write x divided by 100 cosine 60. And then we can have minus 4.9. Instead of writing t squared, we can write x over 100 cosine 60 squared. And if we simplify this, we got y of x is equal to, hold on a minute, let me get my calculations out, uh, 1.7x minus 0.002x squared. Now that's all for the moose droppings. Moose droppings. And we can do a similar thing for the water balloon. For the water balloon, we have y of t, but this time the speed is 80 and the angle is 30, delta t. And the acceleration due to gravity will, of course, be constant. It's not suddenly Mars. And x of t will be 80 cosine of 30 delta t. And there will again be no acceleration in the x component. And we can make the same substitution again. Delta t is equal to x over 80 cosine 30. And we can write y of x is equal to 80 sine of 30 degrees times delta t, which is just x over 80 cosine 30 minus 4.8. 9 times x t squared for x divided by 80 cosine 30 squared, which is equal to 0.58x minus 0.001x squared. Now, of course, we can graph this out right now, and this is for the water balloon, if that's not clear enough. Water balloon. But we can graph this out if we want to, 
and especially if you're good at graphing quadratics. But I'm not so good at graphing quadratics, and but I have a hunch that these two physical trajectories might not intersect in the first place. So let's try to find their intersection point. So we can set these equal to each other. 1.7x minus 0.002x squared equals 0.58x minus 0.001x squared. We can simplify this by moving everything to the right side so that we get 0.001x squared uh, minus What's that? 1.32x? Well, uh, minus 1.32x equals 0. And if we solve for x, we get, uh, if we solve for x and then substitute it in y, we get y is actually equal to negative 605 meters. So it intersects underground, which we know to be impossible. It can't intersect underground, so therefore it can't intersect at all. And since it doesn't intersect, unfortunately, the moose do unavoidably hits the ground. And the answer is B. Thank you.